Okay guys, so this is what we did today. I'm using the exact same graph as yesterday for the acceleration calculations, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh, sorry, it's cram. Displacement. Change in x. Change in x is displacement. You can actually use a velocity time graph to figure out displacement from time intervals. I could tell you from five seconds just by looking up, and it happens to be that I can figure out the displacement by finding the area. So the displacement on a velocity time graph is equal to the area underneath the curve. Okay, this is kind of like an integral thing if you do calculus, but don't worry about that. All right, now, we're going to find the area, but you might ask, oh, man, I've never taken the area of a shape like this. We're not going to take the area of a shape like this. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it down into manageable pieces, manageable pieces, all right? So what I'm going to do is that every little vertice here, I'm going to draw a line straight down. And now look what I get at the end of each segment. Oh, not like that. At the end of each segment, I'm going to drop a line straight down, and then this allows me to do some kind of cool things. I can cut everything up into rectangles and triangles. Okay? And if I don't have very nice triangles, what I can do is I can straighten out the lines. And now look, I've made it segment B into a triangle and a square, triangle, and a rectangle. Of course, a, you know, a square is also a rectangle. So the really cool thing now, what I'm going to do is everything that is a square, everything that is a rectangle, okay, everything that is a rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and color red, red for rectangle. Red is for rectangle. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to color everything that's a rectangle red. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. There's another rectangle right here. Rectangle right here. Having a lot of fun here. A rectangle here. Great. Awesome. And of course, let's see this is time. Time 30. Time 30, right? Okay. So the area of a rectangle is base times the height. And there's, this has implications for this graph here. All right. Now, anything that is a right triangle, it's very important that we turn these into right triangles. Anything that is a right triangle, make it this one. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and color. It should be purple because I like purple a lot. For purple people. All right, so purple. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go through. Let's color all my triangles purple. You don't need to do any of this, but it's just kind of fun for me, just so you can kind of color code it and see. Great. Okay, now, of course, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And that's because a triangle is half of a rectangle. Isn't that interesting? Triangle is half a rectangle. If you were to imagine this right here, if I flip this, look what I have. I have another rectangle, right? That's half of a rectangle. So because it's half a rectangle, the area is going to be half. Make sense? or what. All right, now let's actually go ahead and calculate some of these things. So the displacement for the first five seconds, zero to five seconds, I can do that simply by doing the base times the height. So the base is five, base times height, right here. The base is five, the height is five, 10, 15, 20. All right, see how I did that? Five times 20 is 100 meters, right? You have to make sure to put the unit on everything. Displacement is measured in meters. All right, right here, I'm going to work this out up here. So I have one half base times height, because guess what? It's a triangle, right? So the base is five. Five, I'm going to use a different color here so that you can see better. A nice bright color. There we go, five. And of course, since this base is five, this base is also five. The height is going to be 5, 10, 15. So let's see. 5 times 15 is going to get you 75. I'm going to divide that by 2 because it's 1 half, right? 75 divided by 2 is, and again, calculators in case you don't know, you get 37.5. 37.5. Meters, right? Okay, right here. 
Now, I'm not done with segment B. I actually also find the area of this little rectangle here, the square. The height is 5. See how it's 5 here, so it's 5 here. 5 times 5, 25, right? So 25 meters base times height, right? Okay, over here I got base times height. And I have 1 half base times height. So let's do 5, 10, 15 times the height is still 5. You see that? So right here I have 75 meters. But I'm not done. I still have the triangle part under C where there is acceleration present, right? Let's see, this is still going to be 15 across, and the height is 5, 10. 10 is the height. So that is 10 times 15 is 150 divided by 2. 75 meters, right? 75 meters. All right, last one. This last part from 25 to 30, I've got a base of 5 and 5, 10, 15, still 15, right? 5 times 15 is simply just 75 meters. Now, if I asked you for the displacement for any time interval, like say 5 to 15, guess what I can do? I can just add up from 5 to 15, that was 25, and of course then I'd have to do this again. Let's say 5 to 25, we could just do 25 plus 75 plus 75 again. Cool. All right. So that's how this works. You could add all these guys up and you would get the displacement of the entire thing. So let's try that out. So for segment, this segment right here, I go 100 plus 25. I'm just adding left to right. Plus 75, 75. That's 150. Oh, I missed something, right? 37.5 up here. Plus. What's that? 75, 75, it's 150. Plus 75 again. You put that in your handy dandy calculator, and you can do all that in your head, which is fine. I can't. Or at least I don't want it. Don't make it. 37.5 plus 150 plus 75 again. Now, if you get different than I do, then that's okay. I might have punched something in my calculator wrong. But that's why you show work. 187.5. You have to put meters, otherwise I'm going to take a point off. Okay. Bring these notes to class with you tomorrow. Um, in any fashion, you can do it simply if you want. And I'll give you an extra credit stamp. Good job.